Devin the Dream Haney tries to separate Vasil Lomachenko's neck from his spine. Oh my God! Stop the damn match! He's broken him in half! Oh my God! We are gonna talk about it in this video. Did Devin Haney just make a huge mistake? Or is Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko's head in intimidating him? We are gonna talk about it in this video. Make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subbed to the channel. This is what I like people. We know that we got a hell of a weekend in store for us. This is already gearing up to be a hell of a fight. For one, earlier today, we already know that it looked like Devin Haney had a lot of trouble making weight. Vasil Lomachenko, he revealed, as in my last video I spoke about it, he revealed that Devin Haney had to try to make weight two or three times before he was able to make weight. I don't know if that's true, I don't know if it's false, but I'm not calling Lomachenko no liar because the pictures that I saw of Devin Haney leaving the way in, he looked like he was already dead. He looked like the walking dead. So he had to have problems making weight. Now, the public didn't get to see that. We didn't get to see that. You know what I'm saying? So that was behind the scenes. That was earlier this morning. But what we did get to see, we got to see the unofficial way in that they had on ESPN, you know, and all over YouTube. So everybody watched the unofficial way in. So you probably come in here after you've already seen the unofficial way in. And if you haven't seen the unofficial way in, well, we gonna cook on what happened. Now, Devin Haney, he looked like that he already had rehydrated by the time that the unofficial weigh-in came. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he already had rehydrated. Vasil Lomachenko, he looked like that he was already fully rehydrated. Now, of course, neither one of them are fully rehydrated, but tomorrow night, they're going to be as close to fully rehydrated as they can be. Devin Haney, when he pushed Vasil Lomachenko, he tried to snap his whole neck off from his body. You could tell that Devin Haney put some power into that. But when I saw it, I said, Devin Haney finally gets it. Devin Haney finally gets it. He's finally realized that he's probably the most hated fighter in all the boxing right now. You know what I'm saying? I cannot think of a fighter that's more hated than Devin Haney. Keyshawn Davis is up there, but Devin Haney is way past him and anybody else. Devin Haney got a long, long, long hate list. The black Javante Davis fans, they hate Devin Haney. The white Vasil Lomachenko fans, they hate Devin Haney. The Latino Teofimo Lopez fans, they hate Devin Haney. Everybody hate Devin Haney. And then they hate everybody that don't hate Devin Haney. They hate me because I don't hate Devin Haney. <laughs> but I love it because Devin Haney finally gets it. Yeah, he finally realizes that all of that nice guy shit it ain't going to help him selling no pay-per-views. All of that humble stuff, it ain't going to help him sell no pay-per-views because he don't have the humble power, right? He don't got the power in other things that these casual boxing fans like to see to get him to sell pay-per-views. Like Tank, he can afford to be humble and be quiet and really don't talk that much because they coming to see him knock heads off. But that approach, it ain't going to work for Devin Haney, right? Because most of these fans, they don't know shit about boxing. They don't know what they watching. So they look at him. Oh, he's born. He's born. So you got to make them hate you. You got to make them hate you more because they already hate you. But now you got to make them hate you so much that they pay to see you lose. Floyd Mayweather did it when his hands got too bad and he wasn't cracking like that no more. And he moved up in division. They paid to see him lose. They didn't pay because they liked him. They paid because they hated him. And Devin Haney finally gets it. I've been waiting for this. You know what I'm talking about? This is what I've been waiting on. He finally gets it. This is my opinion why he shoved Vasil Lomachenko. I also believe that he shoved Vasil Lomachenko to let him know I'm the bigger man. I'm better than you. I'm more powerful than you. And I had to wait four years and now you didn't really piss me off. You should have fought me back then, but you was ducking me and now I'm really pissed off. And I'm taking this serious, right? I'm taking it personal. This ain't no game and I'm not playing with you and you're going to find that out. That's why he put hands on him. He's trying to get in Vasil Lomachenko's head, right? 
I think that Bill Haney told him to do just that. Because Bill Haney know. Bill Haney is a salesman himself. So Bill Haney told him, go out there, give these fans what they want, sell this fight, and while you're doing it, make sure that you put hands on Vasil Lomachenko to get in his head and let him know we ain't playing no games. Make him feel you. Let him feel you one time, son. So I like this. Because they don't like you anyway. They don't like him anyway. So he knows now that this is pay-per-view. You can't depend on George Cambosos to carry this, you know, to sell all the pay-per-views because y'all in Australia. Nah, you back home in the U.S. Everybody going to be looking at how many pay-per-views did you sell? And everybody waiting to talk about that, right? That's a talking point to a lot of Javante Davis fans that don't want to see him fight you. He didn't sell enough pay-per-view. He can't sell. If Devin Haney fight Tank, he need to be willing to take 10%. He don't deserve 20%. He don't deserve 30%. That's all they going to talk about. And Devin Haney finally realizes that. He also realizes that <laughs> if I don't sell this pay-per-view, if this pay-per-view don't do well, I ain't going to get the bag that I want. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to get a couple mil, but I ain't get the, I'm not going to get the big, big bag that I really want. And also, if I don't sell this pay-per-view, they probably won't put me back on pay-per-view again for a long time. And Vasil Lomachenko, he's not doing anything to sell the pay-per-view. It don't even seem like he cares if the pay-per-view sell or not. You know what I'm talking about? So you can't depend on Vasil Lomachenko to sell this pay-per-view. Also, what a lot of people don't know is Vasil Lomachenko, he probably get all of the pay-per-view on the foreign side, right? The foreign pay-per-view sales from his home country and everything. Well, I know they got a war going on over there. They got a lot of problems. So I don't even know if, you know what I'm saying, if they showing it over there. I don't know. I would have to research that more before I get to talking about that. But usually, right, if it's a foreign fighter, they work out a deal in their contract to where they get most of all the foreign pay-per-view, right? So I don't know what type of deal that they worked out. And like I said, I don't even know if they showing it over there. But usually that's the case. But Vasil Lomachenko, he not trying to sell the fight. So that was up to Devin Haney to sell the fight. And a lot of times, before people go and buy that pay-per-view, they need to see the way in. They need to get convinced. Okay, let me go ahead and buy this pay-per-view. And he did that. It's going to be on ESPN. Of course, he's a top-ranked fighter, but it's going to be on the highlights. It's going to be everywhere, and everybody is talking about it right now. As I'm making this video, everybody talking about it. And that's exactly what Devin Haney needs to do to sell this fight more, to get in Vasil Lomachenko's head. Now, I'm going to go both ways with this. Vasil Lomachenko, he believes that he is in Devin Haney's head. He believed that Devin Haney did that off of nervous energy. Vasil Lomachenko could be right. You know, Devin Haney could be nervous. He's never been in a fight this big, a fight of this magnitude. You could say George Cambosis, but everybody pretty much felt that George Cambosis wasn't on Devin Haney's level. You know what I'm talking about? And he didn't feel that George Cambosis was on his level. But Vasil Lomachenko, he a whole different fighter. He's a whole different fighter. And you can't play with him. So, it could be nervous energy, but my opinion is that it's not. My opinion is Devin Haney knew what he was doing, and he also wanted to let Vasil Lomachenko know he ain't coming to play no games. Well, you know what? We gonna see. In a little more than 24 hours, we gonna get a chance to see it, you know? Hey, <laughs> When they get in the ring, all of that other stuff goes out the window. May the best man win. I got Devin Haney. I respect Vasil Lomachenko, but I think it's Devin Haney's time. You know what I'm talking about? But with the push and everything, you still got to get in the ring, Devin Haney, and back that up and show out. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Make sure that you smash on my like button. Drop a comment, and y'all already know how I do. There you go, talking that boxing again, and I'm gone.